Hey, welcome back to the 9 to 5 Dropouts. I'm Josh. And I'm Andy. And we're here at Sombrero Beach in sunny Marathon, Florida. And we are going to show you guys today our favorite picks for visiting Marathon for a day and what we would do if we were tourists. Here we go. So I decided to narrate over um, a lot of the wind noise. But anyways, this is Sombrero Beach. Um, it's got beautiful turquoise waters. Honestly, one of the best beaches in the Florida Keys, in my opinion. And you can see there's a lot of amenities. There's volleyball courts. Um, I think there's a total of two or three uh, bathhouses. Um, there's plenty of gazebos in case you want to have a birthday or celebrate something, um, as well as grills. And they even have a pretty large area here um, for outdoor activities. I think there's a bunch of guys playing cornhole. So we're at our next spot. This is the Crane Point Hammock and Nature Center. So we're going to take you guys through a short guided tour and hopefully we see something along the way. So inside the building, there's a small museum with some pirate artifacts and just general history about the Florida Keys and how it came to be as you know it today. It's some pretty interesting stuff in here. Um, a lot about the culture before settlers came in, uh, about the Bahamians lived here. And I don't want to show too much of that stuff because I really think it's interesting and I think you should go visit here. Um, and then from here it's just a short walk down to the uh, Butterfly Conservatory. And these nature trails are actually really well kept and they are really nice. And the day that we went was absolutely beautiful. I think it was like a high of 74 degrees. So we were really enjoying ourselves. We don't get that very often here in the Keys. <laughs> um, some, a few weeks out of the winter maybe. But as you can see here, there's just some uh, cocoons. We didn't see too many butterflies at the time. <laughs> hey bunny. Not gonna lie, this might be the cutest bird I've ever seen in my life. It's a it's a burrowing owl. Here, check him out. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. It's kind of hard with the screen. So you guys will see these a lot. Um, we see them a lot in Cape Coral because of the um, the just overwhelming amount of houses being built. You'll see these guys are actually protected. It's pretty cool. They actually put a perch up for them and you're not allowed to build on that land um, anymore. Um, but we've seen a lot of them up there in that area being kicked out of their homes, but they're super cute and they usually burrow under the ground, hence their name. Um, he's trying to burrow and he's not having any luck in here. And looks like we got some manatees that might be coming towards us here. Check it out. Here they are. Let's see them in the water right here. Hey guys. Hey, so we just finished up the uh, nature tour and we just want to say totally worth it um, as you're gonna see in the video manatees all kinds of birds the yeah. burrowing owl it's super awesome well worth your money well and the animals are here for a purpose for a reason it's because they got hurt and they can't be released into the wild so it made me feel a lot better about it and it's just really cool like if I definitely challenge you guys to go through when you're doing the hike to go through the um, the jungle <laughs> as yeah. I was calling it yeah. nature but, trail <laughs> yeah it's a nature trail and it's really cool yeah. um, make sure you go on all the trails because you might miss out on something that you were not expecting uh, definitely go out to the lookout point it's super pretty out there but yeah. you guys are gonna you guys probably saw everything in the video um, we captured the best moments I think yeah so definitely, definitely yeah, come here yeah our definitely one of our top spots so we're at our next spot which is aquarium encounter in Marathon, Florida. Andy's already up there getting the ticket line. But guys, we've been here before. This place is well worth the money. It is absolutely amazing. Let's go. 
So here we are at the aquarium, and this is the giant isopod touch tank. So you can reach your hand this tank and touch the equivalent of giant sea cockroaches. So we're gonna get Andy to do this. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to. Yeah, I said I was gonna do it, but we're oh. gonna make, I want, I want you to do it. Oh. So here we go. So wait, let me, here they are. He looks pretty cool. And here's Andy's face. I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> I like that. It's just a, Here we go. It's a lobster. Everybody make sure to pay attention to that face. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did it. Now we're doing it again. Sorry about that. Here, I wanna touch this guy. I think he's cool. I don't know, I think he might have liked that. Hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> They're cool. So right here, this is one of the larger tanks. And coming up here on the screen is Andy and I's favorite fish, which is the hogfish. Not only do we think this guy is probably one of the cutest, but he's also one of the most delicious fish. <laughs> so that kind of stinks for him. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't have his little fins up on the top there. But these guys are super cute. And here we have some black nose sharks. There's some sand sharks in here. Um, I believe it was Kubera snapper. There's a nurse shark laying there on the bottom. And there's also a, uh, there's an eel there in that cave. He's a little hard to see. <laughs> Are you gonna you ready? Yeah. yeah. Crack me up. Uh oh, here comes the big guy. Get ready. Better get ready. Don't take it out. Come here, buddy. He'll put his face against it again. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he is. see this but in here is a goliath grouper so if you look underneath that ledge right there you can kind of see him and he is huge i'd say he's probably at least 300 pounds look at that face I know Andy, I know right where she's going, straight to the seahorses. Look, look, look. What you doing over here, man? <laughs> My favorite. Look how beautiful they are. And look at all the babies. Oh yeah. See that little guy? Yeah, they're tiny. Oh yeah. It's pretty. Look at this guy over here looking at us. This little hermit crab, his eyes. Oh, is he? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> hey, so we're at the seven mile bridge. 
and we're gonna take you on the newly renovated bridge behind us here. It's about a mile down to Pigeon Key and a mile so this back. Is, this is actually the old bridge that they used to use for the railroad. Yeah. Um, part of it has been renovated and it takes you to Pigeon Key. Uh, I think they stopped renovation. They were gonna do the whole thing, but they ended up stopping it. But they did do the part that we're gonna be on, so at least we get to show you. Yeah, and this is one of our favorite activities. We love going for bike rides and it's pretty scenic here, so. And the wind calmed down because it was crazy earlier, so. Yeah, so here we go. So it just so happened the wind had not calmed down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and narrate uh, this bike ride down. So we're headed down the, the um, old seven mile bridge here. And this was just newly renovated these past few years. They did a lot of work on this, as you can tell. It did not used to look like this. It's very nice now. Um, but anyway, uh, right here on the left, this is Pigeon Key. And there's a total of five acres of land and eight buildings on it. And these are historic. This is where, when the railroad was the only way to get into the Florida Keys and Key West. This is where all the workers lived. And it was basically just a work camp. Um, so now you can actually do tours down there. It was closed when we made this trip. Um, but yeah, it has a small museum, uh, has a lot of artifacts and images um, from the past. And it's just a really nice place to go and spend a few hours and learn about the history of the Keys. All right, we just showed that bridge who's boss. Okay, on the way out, we did not show it who's boss. It was super easy to coming back. I'm glad that we're bikers, because that was, whew. Yeah, we're getting like uh, 30 mile gusts right now, so it's pretty brutal. It was good though. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you guys, see you <laughs> next video. All right.